वेलकम टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल आई रियली होप दैट यू गैस आर डूइंग वेल सो चलिए लेट्स मूव ऑन विथ आर डिस्कशन ऑन अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक टूडे इन दैट इज द कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ द पार्लर डायनेस्टी और राइट सो नाउ दिस इज अगेन अ पार्ट ऑफ योर यूनिट थ्री सिलेबस वाई विल बी डिस्कसिंग वेरियस रीजनल किंगडम्स राइट सो वी हैव पालाज वी हैव द चालुकियाज पल्लवाज चोलाज चेराज एक्सेट्रा सो वील बी डिस्कसिंग ऑल ऑफ दीज डायनेस्टीज राइट बट आई हैव गॉन थ्रू द क्वेश्चन पेपर फॉर अ फ्यू प्रीवियस इयर्स एंड आई हैव डिस्कवर्ड दैट दे डू आस्क यू अबाउट द कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन दे आस्क यू अबाउट द क्रोनोलॉजी सो दैट ऑल्सो वी विल बी डूइंग दे विल बी आस्किंग अबाउट द वेरियस टाइटल्स विच हैव बीन टेकन बाय द किंग्स सो दैट ऑल्सो विल बी डन So today we will be discussing about the contributions which have been made by the Pal dynasty of Bengal. Let's have an introduction of them. So where was the Pal dynasty established? Now it was established by a person whose name was Gopal in when in 750 CE. Please remember this. What is the area in which they were ruling? They were ruling in Bengal and Bihar, and they ruled for about. 400 years from 8th to the 12th century so this is actually quite long now here only you have been given around uh, you can see yes you have been given around four factual information who is the founder gopal when 750 ce ruled over bengal and bihar ruled for 400 years from 8th to the 12th century please remember these factual details the empire was expanded greatly by one of the best known rulers whose name was dharmpal all right now since the rulers of this dynasty always added the suffix okay the suffix of pal in their name hence it was known as the pal dynasty because dharm pal okay go pal they always added pal in the dynasty in their names is the suffix that is why they have been known as the pal dynasty okay now pal empire was one of the major buddhist imperial powers in the indian subcontinent so this was the basic introduction that we have all right let's move ahead and let's take a look at the major contributions that they have given to us okay now first of all what titles have they adopted they have adopted titles like maharaja dhiraj and parmeshwar fine now if you just look at the title this tells you something about them so the title of maharaja dhiraj means what the kings in all the kings all right or the greatest of the kings amongst all kings this is what he wants to say okay so this was their way of projecting their greatness of showing their power and parmeshwar that is a way of for them for claiming divinity just like the kushans claim their divinity by adopting titles like dev putra the guptas claim divinity by comparing themselves to various gods and goddesses similarly we have the palas taking the uh, title of parmeshwar which really really helped them in doing what in uh, attaining their divine status now they were great patrons of mahayan buddhism not just buddhism but mahayan buddhism and constructed several buddhist viharas for buddhist monks please remember the names of the buddhist vihar this is very important so we have sompur mahavir uh, which is in bangladesh it is one of the most famous vihar which was constructed by the pal rulers fine now it was not just that they patronized buddhism they were also huge patrons of shaivism and vaishnavism and land grants for temples have been given to the brahmins and the priest for the construction of temples now this i think is a very major contribution in the field of education so dharmpal who basically greatly expanded the empire he did not only expand the empire but he also consolidated it how so he basically reviewed the nalanda university fine 
and he also founded the Vikram Shila University, both of which were Buddhist centers of learning. So, what is happening here? We have uh, he reviewed the Nalanda University in the sense he gave a lot of grants to the Nalanda University. Fine, and you all know that Nalanda University was destroyed. Uh, it was burnt, and it was it was burnt. Uh, there were so many books in the library. And it is said that it kept burning for almost six months. So when Nalanda University was destroyed. We have Dharmpal who also founded the Vikram Shila University. So you can see that they were yes centers of Buddhist learning, but they were some of the greatest universities which India has produced in ancient India, right? Yes, they were destroyed by invaders, but you can see that the Pal dynasty has made some very significant contributions in the field of education, particularly Dharmpal. All right. Now, the Pal dynasty also had very good trade connections with Middle East and Southeast Asia. Fine. They also patronized Sanskrit scholars. Fine. Some of the Pal texts are Nyaya Kundali by Sridhar Bhatt, Agam Shastra by uh, Gorpada, fine, and Shushata by Gadadhara Vedya, and so on. Please remember these books. They are very, very important because they tell you about the contributions which uh, the Palas have made. They did not only uh, give land grants to Buddhists or to Brahminical uh, centers, or they not only promote Buddhism and Vaishnavism and Shaivism, they made significant contribution in the field of education to Nalanda and Vikram Shila University. They also patronized scholars, right? And a lot of books have been produced during the Pal dynasty. So we have Nyaya Kundli by Sridhar Bhatt, Agam Shastra by Gorpada, we have Shushrata by Gadadhara went there. Okay? It was also during the reign of Pal dynasty that Garur Riti style of composition developed. Please remember this is very important. Okay? Which style of composition? Gaur Riti style of composition has developed. I will be discussing what is Gaur Riti style when I will be doing literature and sources etc. with you. We will discuss what God Riti is. Now, the reign of the Pal dynasty is regarded as a golden era for Bengal. Why golden era? Because you can see so many contributions in the field of art, in the field of literature, in the field of education, in the field of religion. Okay? We have accounts written by Arab merchants, Suleiman and Tibetan scholars, they provide a large amount of information about the Pal Empire. And yes, they have mentioned these things. They have mentioned all these things that we have discussed above in their chronicles or in their sources, which makes it all the more interesting because someone who was coming from outside was writing about all the contributions, the significant contributions which the Palas have made to the society. Now, Ram Pal was the last great ruler of the Pal dynasty and in the 12th century, the Pal dynasty was dethroned by the same dynasty of Bengal. Okay? So, the Pal dynasty ruled for 400 years and then they were dethroned by the Sain dynasty. So generally, Palas and Senas are studied together. So next class, we will be looking at some more contributions of some other rulers. But here, we have focused on the Palas. So who were the Palas? They were a ruling dynasty that ruled in Bengal and Bihar for almost 400 years from 8th to the 12th century. They started ruling when in 750 CE and the rule was established by a person called Gopal. It was expanded by Dharmpal. And what are their major contributions? They made their major contributions in the field of Buddhism. Mahayan Buddhism they patronized. They constructed various, uh, various viharas for the Buddhists. All right. So we have Sompur Mahavihar. All right. They also patronized Shaivism and Vaishnavism. I think their major contribution lies 
in the fact that they promoted education to Nalanda and to Vikramshila universities and they also patronized scholars, they also patronized different styles of writing, fine. And then eventually they were dethroned by the Sain dynasty. Now, this, uh, this discussion that I've just had with you is really important because I've given you all the factual details regarding the major contributions of the Pal dynasty. Now, you can be asked questions about this. I've given you the details regarding their titles, regarding their contribution, uh, regarding their reign, everything. So, please remember this video. Please remember the factual details. You can always take down the factual details which you're getting from the video so that you remember them in sn small snippets. It's easier to remember them in small, small snippets, isn't it? So, I really hope that this was absolutely clear to you. If there is any doubt, any difficulty, please feel free to address them in the comment section below and I will definitely help you with it, all right? Till then, this is me, Nikki Sinha, signing off. I will see you in the next video with a new topic. Thank you so much.